this is a little bit more for the ladies that are on yeah, the stream. Yeah. But, I mean, guys, this could be for you, too. If you, I mean, buy boots for your woman or you're out there helping her buy stuff. I mean, there's a lot of you go shopping together, I guess, pre-COVID times. <laughs> but there's something that I care about, and that is, like, a fashion boot versus a Western boot. Like, what's the quality that you're getting between those two? A lot of people are going to say, oh... Fry is so great, you know, you gotta get boots from Fry, or they'll say a certain brand, like Steve Madden, or Aldo, or whatever, and you're like, that boot is so expensive, that's like a $300 boot, and it's not good, you're welted, the sole is so thin, there's no insole, there's no lemon wood pegs, there's no nails, there's no yeah. nothing, and you're like, why am I paying that much for something that looks like that? That doesn't make any sense. It's fashion and function. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better every day. So, I think there's a few differences. When you look at a boot, let's hear, let's pull out, like... Get the boot rack going. <laughs> I love that thing. So there's like some booties that I wear pretty often. Steve Madden. So that's a Steve Madden. This is a Fry boot. I love these boots. I wear these all the time. But these are what you would consider like uh, a fashion boot. Like, look at how thin the sole is. Yeah, that's super this. thin, like, and it's just, not even stitched at all. You bend just... it with one with one finger. It's just like glued on there. It's uh -huh. barely. Well, this one has some stitches, but I mean, way more expensive than this guy yeah and this is already like falling apart you can see how it's coming apart there's a ton of wear on the suede on the toe yeah cloth lining but this is like a $60 booty this is probably like 150 new I think I got these secondhand somewhere mm -hmm. um but these compared to like what I'm wearing right now the Ariats. If you put these boots next to each other, you're going to notice a lot of differences. And when you're shopping for a boot online, it can be really tough to know what you're going to get. So here's some things that you guys should think about. You should think about the quality of the materials. If you're getting it from a brand like Steve Madden, who obviously sells their boots almost everywhere, it's going to be like 120 bucks. With $120, do you really think that they can give you the thick sole that's gonna be replaceable. There's no stitching, obviously. There's like nothing that's a quality indicator of a boot. So so how do you think that that's really gonna go? Mm -hmm. I think price is a good indicator of durability, but not always. Something like a fry boot, price is not a good indicator of durability at all. I would say that these things, because they're so thin, even though they are beautifully crafted, they're just so thin, they just fall apart. The sole on this one is pretty eaten up and I haven't worn these that much. Um, so I think there's just a lot of things that you gotta think about. Yeah. And for the price point, you know, if you get something like the Ariats, that's, what do you say, 185? It was 180, yeah, 190. The Ariats, so the insole is way more comfortable. Yeah. These are like, there's nothing in here for you. You know, if you're getting a fashion boot like this, there's nothing in here. You might have a little bit of cushioning, but that's gonna wear down really, really fast. They're not gonna like last that long. The sole is so thin. Um, and then when you think about the price that you could pay for one boot and have them last the rest of your life, you can't get these resold. You can't take care of these the same way that you can with like a real leather boot. So it might be worth spending a little bit more and getting less pairs of boots because you can actually have it for almost the rest of your life. These Ariat soles are twice as thick as either of these fashion soles. So they're going to wear through a lot less quickly. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get them resold. Mm -hmm. So the boot itself is just going to last you two to three to four times as long as something that just looks pretty. Right. Which is a quick fashion. So what can you tell people about the look of a fashion boot to maybe a more functional boot that still looks good, but isn't like from one of the main fashion brands like Steve Madden? Yeah, I think it all comes down to, to what you want. Mm -hmm. If you want a boot that's gonna last you for a long time, you gotta look for things like the stitching on the bottom of the boot. You gotta look for things like nails and pegs and um, and on every single boot too, because you see these are both fashion boots. You can see the heel height is almost exactly the same. They look, the silhouette is extremely similar. These are just like maybe different price points. I think this one is slightly cheaper than the fries. 
but you can see even the difference here there's absolutely no stitching on this boot there's no pegs there's no nails there's no nothing fry barely made an effort here but they did <laughs> you know they did they got the rubber here they got some stitching um so when you're evaluating just like you would any other kind of boot you have to pay attention even if you go on something like lane or freebird and you're browsing through their boots you might look at their actual full cowboy boot and you might see if you if they have pictures of the sole you might be able to see all of that stuff but then you click over to their booty and they don't actually have that stuff on their booty mm -hmm. so don't get caught up in the brand because sometimes the brand doesn't actually mean anything Boots are made in different places. Every single line of boots that someone does is made in a different place. Ariat alone manufactures in what? Mexico, Indonesia, America. Vietnam, China. <laughs> and those are all different lines. And they're yeah. all going to be made slightly differently. And yeah. they all have different price points and different things that you have to keep in mind. So just because they have a brand name like Ariat, that doesn't necessarily mean the quality is going to be there or that it's going to look and feel and last the way that you want it to. So if you're looking online, make sure that you get pictures of the soles. Mm -hmm. If a retailer doesn't have a picture of the sole, then it's probably not a quality boot, unless you're buying off somewhere like Poshmark and they just kind of forgot. Yeah. But if you're going somewhere and you're trying to buy a boot new, if there's no pictures of the sole online, it's probably not Goodyear welted, it's probably not stitched, it's probably not something that is going to last or you're able to get resold. It's just not. Um, so if they have pictures of the sole, check it out. Right. For sure. On every single pair of boots. Because like I said, brand doesn't necessarily mean anything. I was very disappointed to find that out. <laughs> yeah. You learned the hard way though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. Also the lining. I've noticed mm. that a lot the of PVC. cheap boots sort of start out with this polyurethane, like this fake pleather up top to sort of make you look and be like, oh, there's a leather lining. But then about an inch into it, it's cloth. Yeah. And it just feels so cheap, and it, it, it's going to tear. It's not going to be as good as leather. A boot like this is just going to stink more because it's got cloth in here. It's going to hold in that bacteria. Uh, a boot that's all leather lining is just going to be better, too, and last longer. It's not going to rip as uh, much as a cloth would. So the lining is a really important place to look, too. I mean, the Steve Madden profile, it looks good with a rough out until you start yeah. to really to pick it apart and say, hey, there's no Goodyear welt on this. The lining is crap. Um, it's it's easy to tell on some of the little construction features. I've had $30 pairs of boots that looked exactly the same. I've had $70 pairs of boots that look like that. I've had $150 pairs of boots like th that look like that. And they all last like one season, two seasons. You actually wear them around. And then they just kind of like, fall apart and you can't resole them because there's nothing to work with because they were just materials they use less materials and they just glue it together so fast so it's like if you just spend a little bit more on something that you're actually gonna like you can actually like wear for multiple seasons you can take care of you can condition because it's real leather it's not pleather mm -hmm. little things like that you're gonna just get more in the long run and they're gonna get a beautiful patina mm -hmm. you're gonna have them forever yep so don't waste your money on like things that aren't gonna last you. It's just not worth it. Exactly, worth I feel it. the same way. And plus you get a story when you have a boot that's lasted for 10, 15 years. Like those boots are really close to you because you've had them resold like four, five, six times or whatever. Yeah. So it's, it's fun to wear a boot that much so that they get stories attached to them too. And that's not gonna happen with a boot like this because once the sole falls off after- It's done. After a year you of regular- Yeah, you just gotta throw it away. And you feel bad. Yeah. And ladies, I know that it, it feels like you wanna stay on top of the fashion trends, but just be yourself. Don't shell out a hundred bucks for something that you're only gonna wear for one season because it's in trend. Get something that you actually like, that is actually comfortable. So if it's not comfortable, you're never gonna wear it. We all know that that's true. We still have high heels. We don't wear them. It's fine. <laughs> I'm in denial too. But I mean, if you actually think about it, like a boot like this, is just, it looks plain, but I'm gonna wear it all the time. A boot that looks like this, I got second hand, so I feel a little bit less bad about getting it, but I mean, it's already falling apart. It's got like one more fall in it. We live in the Northeast. There is gonna be some snow and rain and Salt. you can't protect this. You can't do anything. Cause I don't even think it's real suede, so. It's gonna have to get thrown away. And don't even get me started on all the fake leather 
it's not even real leather, and then they'll call it like crocodile or something, <laughs> and then they'll charge you two hundred seventy five dollars. It's like it's not even a real exotic, and it feels like crap. You can't condition it; it's gonna fall apart, and you want to charge me more. Yeah, the worst ones are the the snake print, the python print ones, because yeah. it's so in, it's so trendy right now, and they look so they cool look so, online. They look so cool, but they look so bad in person, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> they do. Not to be snobby, but you can just tell the difference between something that's real and something that's not real. Mm -hmm. And I think if you really want that look, you should not use fast fashion because there are so many like ecological and wage implications of fast fashion. Yep. You should invest in a brand that's actually doing small batch production, something like Alkalis or one of those smaller groups that actually cares. Um, Ariat does put a lot of thought into where they manufacture their boots and everything that goes into that. Um, so I don't know about every single one of their boots, but it's something that they at least are thinking about. So. Just be conscious, guys. Just think about, is this something I actually want to spend my money on? Is this going to last me more than one season? Do I actually care about it? Can I condition it? Can I take care of it? Can I resole it? Because all those things are going to make a difference. It really does matter. Uh, what do you guys think about function and fashion uh, boots? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for being here. Boom. These are brand new Jeremiah Craig mugs, engraved by Twisted Willow Fabrication and they are now available on my store, jeremiahcraig.com slash store. So these two are the same, 16 ounce stainless steel, just one's green and one's stainless steel. And then we got the mug here, which is 15 ounces and a wine or cocktail tumbler here. And they all come with tops too. And it keeps your beverages pretty cold or For a few warm. hours. Yeah, it gets even better because not only do you get the mug, but on the back of it is a little QR code here. Don't show it for too long, Brenna, because that QR code will lead you to a new thing that I got going called the Boots and Ballads Vault, where you get pretty much access to some new stuff. So cheers to you. The cups are fun too. The cups are awesome. <laughs> the cups are awesome, but you also get some fun access to Boots and Ballads Vault through that stuff too. You can find the new mugs at jeremiahcraig.com slash store. Function and fashion, keep an eye out for long lasting qualities, yeah. Look so dashing with that function and fashion keeping you worry free. Yeah. <laughs> Huge thanks to Brenna for doing that segment, making my job easy today.